this, do you? Escaped. Doctor, what a relief. Where exactly are you? I'm near their hideout. Though I intend to change that as soon as possible. There? Have you met Spluskas and Lendl? Yet. How do you know their names? I've intercepted the Alliance's communications. Keep going. We'll discuss everything on the way. I guess there's no point in going back to their base. I would actually advise against it, since Rahitra searches the premises. The path along the cliff looks much safer. I think I can get down here. Good. Proceed. <laughs> to ask. What happened in the last few hours? That man, he didn't hurt you, did he? I was sitting on my ass, guarded by Rahitra and his Arctan. I'm numb as hell, but other than that, I'm fine. What do you make of this man? What kind of person is he? He's a distrustful type, rough around the edges. It was impossible to get along with him. Then we need a new plan. Huh, yeah. Seems so. Although I could use some rest. Oh, it was a rough day. A night. A rough couple of days, actually. Sorry, Doctor, but you'll have to get away from there first.
think I know where to go. There's a hole from an antimatter beam on the other side of the canyon. Very well. Perhaps you can find out where the Invincible landed. Oh, I didn't tell you the most important thing. Condor's here. On this planet. Condor? Yes. Looks like HQ got it all mixed up. Both the arrival time and the ship itself. What? That's unbelievable. How could the intelligence be so wrong? As soon as we return, I'll break their... <laughs> Never mind. If we don't have a better plan, I want to go there. To Condor? Yes. Their scientists had the equipment and time that we don't have. They could have discovered something important. Unless they flew away. All right. We'll do as you say, Doctor. I trust your judgment. I need to get down, but I'm not going down this way. I'll have to find another route. There's an underground tunnel in front of me. We may cut out for a moment. Understood. A rover. Do you mean hand, Doctor? Well, well. You've never made jokes like that before, sir. I'm just glad you're fine. And that I'll rob that alliance prick, huh? Oh,
I'm wondering, what is Condor doing here? I have no idea. Rahitra didn't tell me anything about it. driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. Several oxen's here. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? Someone else. Oh, you can't help him anymore. 
But there are still people who are alive and need you. Let's not forget about them. As you said yourself, Doctor. Please keep going.
I'm using an open channel to broadcast. How's it going? Are you receiving this, Affirmative. Milos, what do you think? What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. Perhaps the higher-ups can do something. Hey! Hey, Marl! Sit down! Uh, I wish we had secured them better. But back to the matter. Have you found anyone else? One working arc camp so far. Several probes also seem to... People, Rehitra. Only people matter. I know. The arc chan will help me look for them. I'm going away for a while. I stopped at the old excavations. I'll look for Pepsi. All right, I'll check the base again. Over and out. Rehitra, <sighs> come in. I'm moving on. About Pepsi. There's nothing we can do for him anymore. Over and out. Hey, Milos. I hope you're still within reach. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, a woman. I doubt she was alone, but I, I didn't see anyone else. I've already broadcast to the base. Just come back soon. I'm closing the channel. Talk to you later. Okay, I think that's enough sightseeing for me. If Milos kept going, so should I. Agreed. a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energobot somewhere, but I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although, it's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way, so even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Uh, wouldn't make much sense. Please keep looking.
A transporter. They're here. It's standing still. In front of the force field. Is that Milos' convoy? I'll confirm soon, but yes, most likely. Can you see anyone? Uh, not yet. There's someone inside. More than one. Two. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. in. Still, no one here. Ah, they must be in the back. Are you trying to turn the power on? <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Moment of truth. Ah, it's on. Did the door open? Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors are... Wait! The back door opened. Oh. No. What? This vehicle. It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness. With no chance of understanding what's going on. Terrible death. I'm sorry you have to see that. The number of registers, 428. Playing in broadcast mode. You found more of those? No. It started automatically. Hello, Condor. This is Rose Interest speaking. It's day 26, time 805. I'm continuing my search for the missing crew. I checked the excavation area. I yet to find others. Come here as soon as it's possible. Bring me back. Over and out. Hello, Condor. This is Road Hitcher speaking. The day 26. Time 805. I'm still searching for the missing Are you crew. hearing this, sir? I've checked the excavation area. He's repeating himself. We need help. The recordings, Comforter. they're slightly Please. different. Over and out. Hello, Condor. This is Will Dicker speaking. So he not only really loses his memory like that. That memory never returns to him. He's been here for far too long. Far too long not to receive help from Condor. Waiting for your support, Nobody will come. come I'm afraid there's not a soul here Hello. on this damned planet, this except for the three in the cave.
astrogator. Someone's firing distress flares from near the hideout. Do you think it's Rahitra? Who else could it be? It sounds like you know something, sir. Actually, I don't. Well, he put out a broadcast, but Why didn't then? say a word about you, as if nothing had happened. Astrogator, firstly, please keep me informed of such things. Second, it happens again. He started a new cycle. Please be more clear. He fell asleep and forgot what happened the whole day. And once again, he will wake up on the 26th day of the mission. I almost feel sorry for him. Don't joke about it. If I don't snap him out of this cycle, he'll keep repeating it until he dies. Or goes insane. Of course, I feel the tragedy of this man. You want to rescue him, even though he's still a threat. You don't have to say anything. See the hill. I'll be there in a minute. Please slow down. Remember, he has a gun. He didn't shoot at you the first time, but if you go in now... He won't this time as well. In any case, let's not worry in advance. I haven't located him yet. What about all those machines on the hill? Is there anything there he could use to threaten you? Your reaction to your late-night visit? Well, let's see. Given you're bringing him such devastating news, he might overreact. Literally erase me from this planet if he wanted to. I know what's at stake. I can handle it. Who the hell are you? Oh, here we go again. What are you doing here? Good luck, Doctor. 
Take it easy, Rahitra. What? How do you... Uh, I'll tell you everything. Just shut up for a moment and listen. I will not. Rahitra, for fuck's sake. Do it for Spluskus and Lendl. Around the bush, you think it's the 26th day of the mission. Just after the attack on your base that left many of you in critical condition. But the truth is much worse. Milos left a long time ago. What? How, how do you... You fell victim to that attack as well. The microbot cloud has wiped all traces of your comrades' memories. Your long-term memory is probably fine. That is, up until the moment you found them. You keep forgetting everything that comes after. I have reason to believe it happens during sleep. As a result, you relive the same day over and over, waiting for backup that will never arrive. The micro... what? Cloud? That's bullshit! I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but... Focus, Rahitra. We've already met once. We spoke in your hideout. You've had me at gunpoint already. Tell me, where did you wake up today? On the mattress where you usually sleep? Or on the floor next to the radio? What does that have to do with anything? You see, we talked for a long time yesterday. And we fell asleep while we were sitting. The water bottle you gave me is still by the crate. Did you put it there last night? Don't mess with my head. Milos will come. Milos is dead. They're all dead. They've been lying nearby for hundreds of days. You were supposed to go and check why contact was lost. You were supposed to leave tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. Stop it! I know that it's hard for you to believe. I'm not against you. I came back to help you. No, I'm warning you. I'll use my gun. Rahitra, I know you won't shoot me. I've been here. Good. You're finally getting to him. 428 days. At least that's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. This. this. this cloud? A result of the evolution of inorganic beings. It, it attacks the most important parts of biological organisms our brains. It responds to radio waves. That's how it found our crew. Damn it. Every time I broadcast, there's a wave bombarding all devices. This electromagnetic field. The cloud produced it. That's right. This is how it damages our brains. Our robots and, and all machinery. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Copy that. Uh, what's going on? Who are you talking to? This is a topic for another time. The cloud will be here soon. Quick, lead to the hideout. Now, move! Can you get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator. I think he wants to fight. What the fuck? Can't you stop him somehow? He'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see. But you can't beat him, join him. You have a much better chance of surviving if you stick together. Hey! Uh, you. What's your name, anyway? Yasna. I'm... Uh, whatever. You know already. What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh, uh... Thought so. Here, take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. Check 
Hey, over. Let's stay in touch. Copy that. It's getting closer. I don't see it. Soon it'll be within range of the gun. It's coming to the east, over the hill. I see it. Cyclops? Uh, that 
What's the code name for? It's more of a modern for an 80 ton machine with firepower exceeding all intimates combined. We usually use it in conditions of high radiation, contamination, enormous pressure, and temperature. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. So it doesn't depend on the surface. In addition to the Dirac's force field, it has an antimatter spherical blaster. Well, I hope you're right. Because I've heard about your power more than once. And all I see is one defeat after another. In this case, Yasta, it's not just empty boasting. Sending the Cyclops somewhere is... is like giving the task to the devil himself. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasta. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. And we could fly to Condor right away. Or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. <sighs> Somehow it does not surprise me. Let's fly. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. Not here. Rietra? He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. You had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. Uh, didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Indeed. You'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices on the ship. I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. I'll find that radio. No worries. He's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he thinking? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah, what does it look like? Must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret, so there are a lot of unsubstantiated legends about it. It's big, bigger than a transporter. Its launchers are hidden for now. But for some reason, it gives off such an unsettling impression. Does it make any sounds? No. It's big and quiet. Uh, well, if only we could get hold of its blueprints. This is hardly the time, Astrogator. It, yes, yes. Another time. I need to focus on finding Rahitra. Suppress his warlike tendencies. Without spirit, without glory. Glory? I'm thinking out loud. This cruiser of theirs seems so powerful. 
worthy of the mightiest space conquerors. Yet on this planet, all that awaited its crew was death, not glory. This is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates... What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, they'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. Everything makes sense now. They were coming to rescue their people from the very beginning, not to gain some imaginary advantage over us. One doesn't exclude the other, but yes. Turns out it's mostly about the Condor. I'm entering the cargo hold. Wish me luck, Astrogator. Good luck, Yasna. Help me somehow. What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. <laughs> Rahitra, come on, don't be silly. Over and out. Rahitra. Oh.
Woods. Oh, we're running barefoot. Like it or not, I'm coming to you, Rahidra. Okay, not quite at the bridge yet, but I'm getting closer, much closer, Rahitra. be the medical wing. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Was Rahitra here? <laughs> <laughs> 